Swindon arrive sitting just above their West Country rivals in League One, having won four league games on the spin. Rovers, though, are going well at home and were in no mood to be good neighbours. Andy Williams showed his defender a clean pair of heels to open the scoring after just 11 minutes. Two minutes later, Williams then turned provider, crossing in for Jeff Hughes to score his fifth goal in seven games. Billy Painter had scored in Swindon's last two league games, but was denied here by the post. Swindon was twinned with Disneyland this week, and some Mickey Mouse defending, along with some quick thinking from Stuart Campbell, allowed Joe Kafour to steer in Rovers third on 34 minutes. It could have been four late on, the crossbar denying Jeff Hughes, but no matter, the damage was already done. Yeah, going for Rovers, we'll have more on that in a second, but what a game at Hewish Park between Yeovil and Norwich. Tremendous game, and you know, Terry, Terry Skivens doing a really good job with the, the young players, obviously using the, the, the loan system really well. Three Spurs players are Beacon, Mason and Colker, but yeah. the, the, their home form is so important, and you know, they've only lost two games at home, and Norwich was a big game. They should have got the three points, but Norwich, they, 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 they play good football, but they've got a bit of grit and determination about them as well, so in the end of the day, I think Terry will think that's a fair, fair result. Yeah, talking of good home form, the same has to be said for Bristol Rovers, I mean, but they're real Jekyll and Hyde at the minute, home and away. They are. I don't think it's any coincidence that Bristol Rovers have a great home form. If you go to Bristol Rovers, they're a really passionate crowd down there. It's a proper football place. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt it's a real advantage to play in front of them if you are the home side. Unfortunately for them, as you say, their away form isn't great. Um, but this was a super result when you consider that Swindon have come in a rich vein of form and uh, they would have fully expected this to be a really, really tight, hard game for them. I mean, they put it to bed reasonably, reasonably comfortably, it has to be said. Paul Trollop and Bristol Rovers, not just the win over local rivals, but it's the first time in ten years the Pirates have now won four on the bounce at home in the league. The clean sheet wasn't bad either. Andy Williams scored the first and made another as the home side opened the scoring on 11 minutes. Baldwin sent a ball over the top. Williams beat his man and the keeper. 1-0 to Rovers. Two minutes later and Williams turned provider for Rovers second. An excellent 1-2 resulted in Jeff Hughes eighth of the season. The home side were pulling away now. Swindon almost got back in the game on 25 minutes. The ball fell to Billy Painter in the box. His shot just grazing the outside of the post. But it was game over on 34 minutes as Joe Kafour fired into the roof of the net from Stuart Campbell's quickly taken free kick. 3-0 now to Bristol Rovers. There was no way back. In the second half, Rovers continued to push forward. Hughes was dominant down the left and denied a second by the Swindon Woodwork. The Pirates claim back their spot in the playoff places. They're back up to sixth. Swindon arrives sitting just above their West Country rivals, Bristol Rovers, in League One. The Pirates, though, are going well at home, and they were in no mood to be good neighbours. Andy Williams showed his defender a clean pair of heels to open up the scoring after just 11 minutes. It really was a thrilling start to this game, and two minutes later, Williams turned provider, crossing for Jeff Hughes to score his fifth goal in seven games. It was a composed finish and a rip-roaring start to this West Country derby. More than 1,200 Robins fans made the short trip along the M4 to watch the game, and Billy Painter almost gave them something to cheer about. Swindon was twinned with Disneyland this week and some Mickey Mouse defending along with some quick thinking from Stuart Campbell allowed Joker 4 to steer in Rovers third on 34 minutes. The visitors have a fine record in this fixture winning three of the previous four encounters and they weren't going to let this one go easily. Alan O'Brien forced the save, Simon Ferry couldn't follow up though.
ultimately it was to be Rovers afternoon and they could have had more substitute Chris Dixon had David Lucas in action once more Swindon saying further woe on this occasion it could have been four late on Dixon again involved but it was to be the crossbar denying Hughes a brace but no matter Rovers deserving the West Country bragging rights 3-0 the final score and the Pirates are back in the playoff places we knew that uh, their movement, their passing was, was of a high order. So uh, we knew we had to uh, be right defensively. We knew that you know, at times they, they, would, they would pin us back, and they did that. But uh, I have to say, we, we defended very well, pleasing clean sheet. Um, and uh, some, of the, some of the play and, and the, at the other end was, was a lot, lot better than it has been in the last two games. I mean, the chances that both teams have had, you know, quite honestly. I mean, the 3-0, if you, if you weren't at the game, you think that you know, there was no, nothing in the game. But, um, I mean, we've had five or six, seven good chances. You know, they've had another two or three after the, the three goals. You know, so it's been, a, it's been a really weird game, if you like. Bristol Rovers started their match with Swindon behind the Robins on goal difference, but seemed determined to move above their opponents and into a playoff position. Andy Williams' inspired display helped the Pirates into a 2-0 lead within 13 minutes, as he scored himself before setting up Jeff Hughes for the second. And before half-time, Rovers made the game safe as Joker Four claimed his seventh goal of the season. Against Swindon, it's always a keenly contested game, and you know, it was certainly the case again. I thought we had a good edge to us um, right from the beginning of the game, and um, you know, after uh, last week's disappointments in the final third and not really creating much, I thought uh, we, looked, uh, we looked a real threat on their goal, and every time we got up there in the first half especially, we, we looked likely. I thought it was a very strange game, quite honestly. I think we started the game quite brightly, um, with lots of possession. Um, Again, against the run of play, really, I think we've been undone by one counter-attack and, uh, and that was to be said for the second goal and the third goal, quite honestly. It was a very strange... strange a bit drama at the Memorial Stadium, though. First half goals from Andy Williams and then Jeff Hughes. So Rovers two up after 13 minutes, with Swindon struggling to get into the game. The third from Joker Four wrapped it up before half-time. The red half of Bristol won't be as pleased after a 1-0 loss at Doncaster and Chatham's unlucky trip to Chesterfield ended the same way. Jules High and BBC Points West.